Kia ora from New Zealand everyone. I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. I think I'm finally ready to crack open the third bag of Educa's 42,000 piece around the world jigsaw puzzle. This is bag number three. I've already done two bags before. I did, this was the first section right here that a uh, lot of North America right there. And then I did the second bag, the second section, again, lots of North America and maybe a bit of South America in there as well. So I've done those two bags, 6,000 pieces each per bag. And this is bag number three and we are moving into Europe. So we have, what do we have here? Big Ben, the Eiffel Tower, Tower Bridge, Leaning Tower of Pisa, uh, the entrance to the Louvre. So there you go. I think I'm finally ready to do it. The thing is, love the image, love the image. And I have the two first sections connected together, displayed at the jigsaw puzzle display. Love them, love them. It's the piece cut that I'm not happy with, the quality. I've not hidden my emotions on that in the last videos. By the way, I'll leave links to all those videos in the description below. It's just so crumbly. Um, each bag has a perfect repeat cut six times, so a repeat of a thousand pieces six times. And I've actually been told that this section in particular, the sky, is quite difficult because, because of that perfect repeat cut pattern and the blues are close and you put the pieces in, but then you kind of stand back and, and you look at different angles and you're like, mm, it looks a bit off and a bit pixelated. I'm hoping that the rest though is busy enough with enough different texture and detail that I won't have a lot of perfect false fits. If you remember this section right here, all the whitish stone, I, yeah, I had so many perfect false fits. I had a piece in the Washington Monument. I forget where it belonged. Did it belong up in Mount Rushmore somewhere? And the only way I noticed was I was standing up and the light hit it at a certain angle and I went, wait, something looks off at this angle. But then from another angle, it looked fine. So it's frustrating. So I did contact Graphica <laughs> and I asked them about their next large puzzle and they said it was awesome. And I'm like, tell me more. So um, they haven't told me anything else besides the fact that it was awesome. So hopefully that's the case. And then I did just send them a message and said, you have an expected release date. And I will admit, if I don't get this jigsaw puzzle done, like the entire thing, there's seven bags, this is bag three. If I don't get it done completely and I end up getting the next Graphica jigsaw puzzle, if I love it, if I love the image, I most likely will put this aside to do the Graphica one. I'm not gonna lie about that. But I thought, okay, I have some time. I've been speed puzzling a lot. Let's try to jump back in. And I, I felt kind of motivated. I don't know why. I felt motivated to crack open the bag and do it. But one thing I'm gonna do differently is normally I spend a lot of time sorting, like very detailed sorting. And I think I'm gonna do more of a quick sort and then just get into the puzzling. And of course I have to like change my whole setup here cause I need the big boards and different cameras. And the difference is when I did the Clementoni 6,000 piece, I knew that once I was done sorting that 6,000 piece, I was done, you know, no more sorting. Once I was done doing that difficult sky, I was done with the sky. Whereas this, once I'm done with this bag, I know there's still four more bags to go. And the difference with the Graphica that was 27 bags of 2000 pieces each, I was so excited to open the next bag and the next bag. And even though some sections were very difficult and very tricky and that beige at times, ooh, did my head in, I still kept my motivation for the next bag. And that's a bit more difficult to do here. I love, I love the image. I love the image. Why does, oh. And if it was in sections of 1000 pieces, then I would e even be fine with the fact that it would be crumbly because I wouldn't have to worry about the perfect false fits, but I'll use the repeat cut pattern for the sky and I'll do the best I can. But yeah, I heard the sky in this one is very difficult. It's so funny because Graphica could come out with a hundred thousand piece jigsaw puzzle tomorrow. And I'd be like, yeah, I can do it so motivated. But this 6,000 piece one just feels daunting. <laughs> it's kind of kooky. Okay. Yeah. Enough talk. For the love of puzzles, let's just dive right in.
no. Just no. <laughs> I have come to an executive decision that no. I don't want to do this jigsaw puzzle anymore. I forgot about the blurriness. And I remember now, on the first two sections, it wasn't just that the puzzle was so crumbly, the pieces, the blurriness of the imagery. And I wonder if that's due to a rescaling, like they had the digitized artwork and then they rescaled it and printed it on such a big jigsaw puzzle. I have a massive headache right now from looking at pieces. I am not good with blurry imagery. I have the hardest time with my eyes focusing. I'm actually sitting here and my eyes are, I'm actually going cross-eyed a bit. I find my eyes going cross-eyed and I'm having to blink a lot and my contacts are drying out. And I'm just like, do I really wanna do this jigsaw puzzle? No. Could I force myself to complete the jigsaw puzzle? Yes. Would there be any benefit of doing that? Well, I'd have some videos, I guess, to post, but I know for a fact that my emotions come across very clearly on camera. And when I am not happy with the jigsaw puzzle, it shows. And I even had comments on some of the first videos that people can tell I'm not so excited or motivated, and it's not an enjoyable video to watch. And I know there's other people, plenty of people out there making videos on this specific jigsaw puzzle and they're completing it and you can all go watch them. But I can't do it, I don't want to say justice, I can't do you justice in making these videos because I'm not enjoying it. And I'm so disappointed because I need to find a jigsaw puzzle with Adrian Chesterman's artwork on it a good quality one. So please leave a comment below, let me know, and I will pay $500 shipping if I have to, to get it sent to New Zealand. I really wanna do an Adrian Chesterman jigsaw puzzle with imagery, and hopefully it's not so pixelated. The funny thing is, like one piece I'll go, wow, that's such nice clear detail, and I can figure out where it goes, but all the browns, oh my goodness, it's, it's so blurry. It's so blurry. And I mentioned before that I get, I know it sounds weird, like I get motion sickness. And the blurriness is causing me to start feeling nauseous. And I just, I just don't want to do it. So I'm going to take the other two sections down. I will bag them up in thousand pieces by the repeat cut. I will try to sell the jigsaw puzzle. I don't know. If anyone will want to buy it, I'll probably lose a lot of money on it. What did I spend? Maybe eight, 800 New Zealand dollars, 900 New Zealand dollars. And I hope you all can understand. If I've disappointed anyone, it was not intentional. Definitely, definitely, before trying a large piece count jigsaw puzzle from a company, try a smaller size. If you don't enjoy their 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzles, you're not going to enjoy their 42,000 piece jigsaw puzzle. Now, I know some puzzles, though, brands, different quality between the sizes, start small and move up. I got lucky with Graphica, but it was sections of 2,000 pieces, and, like, their 2,000-piece quality was great, like, puzzle-wise, imagery, everything. But it was funny how that 6,000-piece vintage traveled Graphica, it was so blurry, I couldn't, I couldn't do that one. So I am just going to pack this up. It's fine. I can't wait for the next Graphica large jigsaw puzzle. I'm hoping that it's in reasonably sized sections. I'm hoping it's the same image and cut quality as the travel around art. In the meantime, I just have so many other jigsaw puzzles that I wanna do, and I'm not gonna force myself to try to put on a smile and make enjoyable videos. The only thing that'll be enjoyable for me will be the voiceover and learning about the monuments and the buildings. Besides that, it's not gonna be enjoyable. If they would have packaged this in thousand piece sections, maybe even 2000 piece sections, it would have been more doable. But 6,000 pieces, blurry image, crumbly pieces, I just, nah, it's not for me. I'm not gonna enjoy it. And just looking at the sky pieces, it's so flat. 
all the same cut, everything, color. Uh, it's okay. And um, I'll probably get some criticism for it. That's fine. Hopefully, I hope one or two people out there go, you know what, I'm glad she stopped. So learn from my lesson. I mean, I know it's a bit different when say it's a 500 piece puzzle or a thousand piece puzzle and people are like, I forced myself to finish it. But I hate seeing those posts because I'm like, oh, don't force yourself to finish it. Have fun, find something you enjoy doing. And, and if you're not enjoying doing, pick it up. It's okay, it's not a failure. It's not a failure. I did not fail here, I don't, no. I did not fail. And if anything, this, this is the smartest, best decision to do. Pick it up, move on, don't make yourself miserable. And wow, my, my eyes, this feels really blurry to me. I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know if it's the browns, but some pieces are crisp and clear and the other parts are so blurry and I just, I physically will, will just do my eyes in. I just can't do it. I do appreciate you all watching. I do appreciate all the supportive comments that you have given in the past about this video series. But I also appreciate those of you who said, look, just stop. If you're not enjoying it, it's okay. And I'm more gutted about the amount of money I spent on it. I've learned a lesson, definitely. I will not <laughs> buy a large size jigsaw puzzle for my brand, of which I have not done a smaller piece count first. So fingers crossed that Graphica's next large jigsaw puzzle is awesome, like they said it was. And um, if I love the image and if it seems like it's the same quality and piece cut, then I will definitely, definitely get it. And I will look forward to doing that. But you live and learn. So I guess there's only one thing left to say and that's thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao. Ciao. Hmm. Oh, I just, oh, my eyes. Yeah. We're done. <laughs>